Starting uni can be daunting. New places, new faces, and a whole new way of learning. However, there is one thing that can make this process a whole lot easier, and that is preparation. Today, we're gonna to go through 10 things you can do before starting your first day to ensure that you're ready to hit the ground running. Number one, keep track. With deadlines shooting at you from all different directions, a social life that desperately needs some attention, and other personal commitments on top of that, it's easy to get overwhelmed. As early as possible, download your course profile and write down key dates in the semester, for example when assignments are due, exam dates and holiday periods. Also add in any other personal commitments you have going on, so that way you're never going to double book anything and you're not going to miss a deadline. Number two, get technical. Make sure that before your first day, you've wrapped your head around all the websites and programs you'll be using at Griffith Uni. One website you'll be using a lot is My Griffith, and you can find everything you need here. Learning at Griffith is also super useful as this is your portal for everything to do with your courses. Here you'll find your assessment material, your grades, um, your course profiles and the ability to watch your lectures online. Make sure you log into your student email and check your messages regularly. Also make sure you hop into the uni and connect to the uni Wi-Fi so that you're ready to go with that one too. All these things will come in handy more than you can imagine so having them ready to go on your first day just puts you that one step ahead. Number three, get there. Organise your transport. Being a student comes with many perks, one of them being cheap public transport. You can get a student card via the TransLink website, which will allow you discounted fare on buses, trams and trains. Alternatively, there are parking permits available on the Griffith website if you choose to drive. Number four, commence the book hunt. Your tutors will let you know on learning at Griffith which textbooks you need for your courses, a few weeks before you start. There are student bookstores on every campus that stock a huge range of textbooks. There are a number of second-hand options that are available, such as the textbook fairs that are often held on campus, as well as buy swap sell groups on Facebook that are committed just to selling second-hand textbooks. I would highly recommend checking all of those options out. Number five, declutter your desktop. Make a folder for university, and in those folders, a folder for each different course that you're studying. And in those individual courses, I like to make a folder for your lecture notes, exam revision, and your assessments. This is a great way to stay super organised. And of course, if you more prefer the paper-based method, make sure you have some kind of organisational system in place so that you don't get all your notes mixed up. I promise you will thank yourself later. Number six, you are supported. Although everything can seem super overwhelming at first, there are a group of people who can help you with everything you need. These people are your library staff. Available to contact via phone, email, online chat or the Ask Library form, these guys seriously know the university like the back of their hand and will be able to help you with any queries you have. Number seven, know your campus. Take a walk around the uni to familiarise yourself with the area. Check out where your classes will be, where the library is and of course where the best food and coffee is on campus. If you're around during orientation, there are also free guided tours on offer which I would highly recommend getting involved in. Number eight, have everything at your fingertips. Make sure your phone is also uni ready. Save a picture of your campus map and your timetable so that you can avoid getting lost and awkwardly walking into the wrong classroom. Also make sure you've downloaded the Griffith app and the Gmail app so you can access everything you need at any time. Number nine, get connected. Social media is an awesome way to keep up to date. Make sure you follow Griffith Uni and the Griffith University Library on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and even YouTube. This is where you'll find news, announcements, inspirational stories and more. Also subscribe to the library blog, Griffith Collective and get it online for a whole bunch of awesome blog posts, news and occasional competition. And last but not least, go to O-Week. O-Week is full of activities to assist you into your transition to university. Early bird workshops, course introductions, life-size board games, competitions, free food, it's all there. Students who go to O-Week often tend to be far more confident and prepared than those who don't attend. There's so much to do and it is all completely free, so get involved. I hope these 10 things to do before starting uni have been useful for you guys and I wish you all the best of luck.